Hello there guys, new LP, Star Wars Racer Revenge this time around. So yeah, this game doesn't really have a story mode, it does have a career mode, which is pretty much race on all tracks with whichever racer you prefer. And I'll be doing that with the main racer of the game, which is Anakin Skywalker, of course. So yes, I'll do a career mode run through with Anakin Skywalker, and that's it. I won't do it with all the other characters because it's pretty much the same thing over and over again with only a different vehicle. This is Dax Gasaway here on Tatooine for the start of this season's Galactic Pod Racing Championship. Good to be back in Mos Espa, my hometown by the way, and it's a beautiful day. The suns are shining and the crowd is ready for some spectacular pod racing action. It's been almost eight years since Anakin Skywalker's incredible upset over the past champion, Zabulba. Best of luck to the racers, and our condolences to the families of the unlucky ones. So yeah, there's an announcer now, and he's not a complete dumbass. He kind of makes, well, I think he sounds kind of good. He makes some witty comments sometimes. Oh, what's this? I don't want this view. How do I change the view? Okay, there we go. So yeah. Most of you will probably know of the, like, Star Wars Episode One Racer on Nintendo 64. Well, this can be seen as the spiritual successor to that. Even though they made a few changes. You know, whereas in uh, Episode One Racer, when you crashed it into something, you pretty much always exploded and died and respawned. That's not the case in this game. In this game, you have a health meter, and when it's empty you crash and there's no getting back up so you have to monitor it because you can manually repair your racer and this also means you can permanently take out opponents by just ramming into them over and over again here comes another one apparently wants to tango and he cuts me off damn anti-social driver but I'm gonna get him for that it's the guy who gets shot down by the Tusken Raiders in the movie. And yeah. Don't mess with Anakin Skywalker. He will wreck your ride. And you may have seen him sitting there in the uh, controls of the pod racer. It's, uh, this game takes place two years before episode two, I think it is. Ah, damn rock. See, if this were episode one racer, I'd have exploded back there. But yeah, it's only Akko Ninebar who got exploded now. Poor fella, Akko Ninebar's a pretty cool guy. He's like a fish alien. And he has to, like his vehicle control unit is like in this bubble filled with water so he can breathe. So yeah, I'd imagine a glass bubble of water crashing into the desert at 400 miles an hour. That guy is probably a goner. I mean, if he needs water to survive and his glass bubbles in a million pieces right now. Hey, and there's Team Topaglis' wreckage on the track. And yeah, final lap already. You know, it's the, fir the first track of the rate of, uh, of the career, so it's bound to be pretty easy. And I managed to destroy three out of my seven opponents, so that's not all that bad. And here's a little shortcut. Yeah, I don't think the other four opponents will be trying to mess with me again. Not after what I did to the other three guys. So yeah, this track's pretty easy. That's one big-ass ribcage. I'd love to see the creature where that ribcage came from. Anyways, just the final stretches now. We'll drive through the wreckage, which is pretty much everywhere. I did wreck him good. And woo, we have a new record in multiple areas. So let's see, Dudbolt, Aqua Nine Bar, and Team Topagalis were all wiped out. Got some money. Can advance to the next track. Oh, and I can enter my name for the high score screen. Uh, la, 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 what to do? Now yeah, we'll I just throw in my real name. There we go. Loading screen. Come on, make it snappy. Second place in best lap, third in best three laps, and third in most KOs. That's not bad. 
Oh, and now we're in Watto's shop, so we can upgrade our machine with the money we just earned. Got some extra... Uh, can't pump everything in speed. Need to balance it out a, lit, a little bit. Boost repair. Because repairs are going to be pretty important. And defense too, because you know, you can be crashing into uh, opponent's racers all the time, but if you don't monitor your own energy bar, you're going to find yourself crashing every once in a while. And that's not good. Come on, hurry up at the saving. There we go. Next track is the Soro Sub Facility on Solust. So let's go. Track favorite, Shrivel Braitrand. Hmm. Okay, l apparently judging from the red screen, I think red usually means like fiery. So my guess is this is like a volcano world. Some Maybe some fire. Some stuff like that. Well, anyways, it's time for the announcer guy's introduction again. Solus surface, a wasteland of volcanic rock and toxic gases. Nothing can live in this atmosphere. Good thing we're far below the surface with a manufactured air supply. We're here at the main headquarters of the Sora Sub Corporation, one of the galaxy's largest manufacturers and the sponsors of today's race. We'll track the pack through factories and then up to the planet's surface, where a network of glass tubes protects our racers from the fumes outside. And then down to the main spacecraft storage facility. This could get expensive for Sora Sub. Those racers had better be careful. Yep, Lava World, I called it. And we're back at the starting grid. And apparently everyone I bashed up in the last race survived and they all managed to get the exact same racing machine. Like, how many backups would these guys have? I mean, see, there's Team Topagalis again, even though I pretty much wrecked them in the last race. And there's our fish guy, Akko Nine Bar. He's usually up front for some reason in this first tournament. Like, he's apparently the one of the best AI opponents. And I haven't really upgraded my turning enough. Oh, that's one big ass explosion. Poor fish guy. He can't catch a break. Maybe I should have spent more upgrades on my handling because that's really not all that great as of yet. Now we're in a little glass tube. You can pretty much start doing 360s in here. But just be careful you don't get the red ring of death. Now oh, come on, where's my opponents? I can see one in my like little red bar thing in the lower left corner which kind of indicates where any potential opponents are like straight behind you to your left or to your right and how close they are but apparently he's not really trying to overtake me he's just like staying there waiting the guess he doesn't want to crash anyways onto the track it's really not all that hard I mean the first four tracks in the game are pretty easy but then again they should be I mean if it starts being difficult right from the beginning then where's the fun in it but luckily I can take care of these corners if you have a little sort of drift ability where you kinda lose control for a bit and it kinda like swerves in a random well not really random but it kinda swerves in the direction you're holding the control stick in which might sometimes be useful for navigating tight corners. And I'm gonna do barrel rolls. Yay. Oh crap, I'm getting a little off course. Barrel rolls for the win. And don't worry, even though I already completed Star Fox 64, it won't be the last time there will be barrel rolls on my channel. I can guarantee you at least two more games involving barrel rolls. Yeah, I might pretty much just say it already and I'm gonna do Star Fox Adventures and Star Fox Assault sometime in the future. I already recorded both of them. So yeah, maybe I'll start Star Fox Adventures after like God of War is over or Yu-Gi-Oh. 
Pokemon XD is pretty far from over. Don't really know what I'm going to replace that with. But who knows. And where's my, all my opposition? Man? I haven't seen any opponent in ages. I have, I have like a 4 second lead on him. And that's... 4 second... A five, 4 or 5 second lead is quite a distance. If you consider they're going at like 400 miles an hour. I don't really know how much that per like yard is or something but I bet there's one of you that's good in math so I'm going to ask you this little mathematical question if I'm five seconds ahead of them and I'm going at 400 miles an hour then how uh, what's the distance between me and them yeah someone do that math if you do it I'll uh, I don't know what I'll do I only ma I only knocked out one, which is kind of bad, because that means I get less money, because Watto pays you the more racers you crash. He's like, oh yeah, I can repair other thingies then. So he's like, yeah, he's crooked. He's a wily businessman. Ooh, I got number one on best race three laps. Awesome. Yeah, there you are, you cheating bastard. Well, I crashed some racers for you, now upgrade mine. I'm gonna put some stuff in cooling so my turbo will cool down faster. Surely you noticed the meter in the bottom right. But anyways, we've completed the first two races of the first tournament, and we'll do the other two in the next part of Star Wars Racer Revenge. So see you guys then, bye bye